Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gordon. We are back again with another video. Today, we're talking about Subnet 36, Autopia, and the foundation of autonomous companies. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below. Hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon. Make sure to grab your completely free copy of the rise of Bitcoin that is waiting for you in the description as well. And let's get in and talk about Autopia. Okay, so first and foremost, what is Autopia, guys? Well, like I said at the beginning, Autopia is building the foundation for autonomous companies by creating a decentralized marketplace for AI workers. The way that this subnet operates on the BitTensor network is they create the place or the space for developers who are essentially the miners on this subnet to build, publish, and monetize their AI workers by contributing them as individual AI workers with individual use cases, which we will look at in a moment because there are so many use cases for AI workers, and then pairing that with the users of the subnet, i.e. users who are able to explore, customize, and deploy those AI workers to unleash their full potential. So think about how much more productive you could be if you had an individual AI agent or AI worker running very specific tasks for you on a daily basis. That is what Autopia is doing. It's creating the marketplace for AI workers, allowing developers to build, publish, and monetize those workers, and then users on the other side come in and be able to use those workers to enhance productivity and unleash them to their full potential. Okay, why is the web a natural starting point for all of this? Well, just think about the applications and the interfaces that you actually execute on on a daily basis, whether you're an entrepreneur running your own business, whether you are working in nine to five, you maybe you work in tech, you work in health. There are so many different applications um, that you probably already use on a daily basis. There's a showcase here of just a few simple examples like Discord, Slack, email, etc. You can have individual AI workers executing tasks for you across all these different applications. And this is the point that I'm kind of trying to get across in this video is I think we're moving to a world where you're going to be having hyper specialized individual AI agents that are absolute experts on a very specific task. You know, of course you can use ChatGPT to enhance your productivity and use it for a wide array of very broad tasks. But if you wanna get hyper-specific and have a very dedicated AI worker or AI agent running and drafting responses to every single email that comes into your inbox, that specific agent is gonna be need to trained on your voice, your tone, the way that you respond to emails, the level of professionalism that they need to actually in, um, encompass to make sure that it aligns with the actual role that you work in or your personality, etc. I think we're moving towards this world where we're going to have a lot more hyper-specific AI agents with very dedicated use cases trained on personalized data that enhance your workflow and make you super productive. So I think that's why the web is a natural starting point here, because there's so many Web2 applications like Discord, like Slack, like your email that you're already using that these AI agents can tap into getting the power of these AI workers to execute those tasks with you on a daily basis, and then merging those worlds of web two into web three with everything happening here on subnet 36 Autopia. Okay. One of the other big things I want to mention here, just very quickly, before we look at the infinite web arena, this new standard that they're, that they're creating is the Autopia price, because you're looking at a price of about 0.003 tau right now, which is about $1.83. And as of this moment in time, if I scroll down here, this is going to be important in just a moment because miners on this subnet, i.e. the developers who are contributing new AI workers are earning 10.75 tau per day. That is over $5,000 every single day. The current price of Tau, just under $500, multiplied by 10.75 Tau is $5,267. And with the new winner takes all uh, mechanism that Autopia have introduced, it means one developer is earning this capital, this amount of Tau, $5,267 every single 24 hours. That is phenomenal. We'll come back to that in a moment. But the way that Autopia are planning to decentralize browser automation and how you can plug these AI workers into your browser, start using them on a daily basis, is using this Infinite Web Arena paper and the Infinite Web Arena as a synthetic benchmark to actually understand how scalable and realistic those AI agents are working and create evaluations for them, 
without relying on human feedback. Okay, this is a very big step in the world of autonomous agents because ultimately you need to have some kind of standard or benchmark upon which those AI agents get scored because that is crucial to the incentive mechanism behind the Autopia subnet as well. From their perspective, they need to have miners, i.e. developers, contributing new and ever improving AI workers and AI agents to be ultimately earning that $5,000 per day or that 10.75 tau per day. And in order to incentivize them to do that, they need to have these evaluation benchmarks like the Infinite Web Arena, the IWA, as a synthetic benchmark so that those new developers and even existing developers have their agents and their code scored on this benchmark so that they can ultimately understand which agents outperform others and who is worthy of receiving that winner takes all uh, mining reward every 24 hours. So the infinite web arena paper is going to be a crucial part and setting that as a standard and a synthetic benchmark that will be used now and moving forward for AI workers and AI agents is very, very important. Like I alluded to just a few minutes ago, Autopia did also recently announce Dynamic Zero and four major upgrades launching with a winner-takes-all incentive mechanism and a live leaderboard, okay? I mentioned that winner-takes-all mechanism, which means the top miner claims all the rewards in a given 24-hour window. That means it pushes competition on the network to its peak. And like I showed you over on TauStats, Miners are getting paid out 10.75 tau per day. That is because Autopia is currently earning 0.36% of the entire tau emissions. That is going to half in about 72 days, sorry, in, from 7,200 to 3,600 in about 40 days. But $5,000 up for grabs every single day is phenomenal. And this means that you're going to be seeing the top miners and the top performers ultimately getting ultra competitive with the amount of um, code that they're pushing and enhancing the AI workers and AI agents that they are contributing to the subnet every day, every week, every month. And that winner takes all um, is a very important upgrade to the incentive mechanism with Dynamic Zero and the live leaderboard. Like I mentioned, you can click over here, check it out over on Autopia's website. I will leave a link for Autopia's website in the description of this video as well, guys. So make sure to check that out. But the Infinite Web Arena platform and this leaderboard allows you to see how the IWA performance score ranks um, Autopia versus other AI models. You're seeing it stack up against GPT-5, Claude Anthropic, OpenAI, Agent Q, Gemini Web Agents, et cetera, et cetera. And so the infinite web arena is going to be a very important benchmark for understanding the performance of Autopia AI agents moving forward and how they benchmark and score against leading AI protocols in the industry, okay? So many different use cases for these AI workers. If I come back over to the homepage on Autopia very, very quickly, they give a snapshot of this on the homepage. You can also check out this more in their documentation, which is easily findable on the website. But imagine having a AI worker or an AI agent that is dedicated solely to predictive modeling. There's actually other subnets on BitTensor doing this, but imagine you had an AI worker that was simply able to go ahead and run um, predictive models using historical data from charts on TradingView. That would be one very specific niche use case that you could be using an agent for. An email worker, like I alluded to earlier, you could have a very specific AI agent or AI worker draft responses to every single email that hits your inbox, ultimately enhancing your workflow, making you more productive. Yes, you'll probably have to proofread it and obviously send the response yourself, but you could get to a point where you train that model and that AI worker so good that it knows your voice, it knows your tone, and you feel confident for it to actually send out automated responses on your behalf. So this is the world we're moving into. So many different use cases for these AI workers getting hyper specific and hyper niche about all those individual agents and how they will be deployed and can be deployed to make them extra useful and extra productive for you in your workday and your workflow. And the final thing I'll mention is the Autopia Studio and Marketplace basically gives businesses access to AI workers to unleash them for their full potential. So like I said, Autopia are creating the marketplace. They call that out on the homepage, the decentralized marketplace for AI workers, the Autopia Studio, and shout out to um, Publisher TT 
Punisher TT over on X. He put together this really good article. You can find this and check it out for yourself. A breakdown of everything I'm talking about in this video with the Dynamic Zero upgrade, with the leaderboard, with everything happening on the winner takes all incentive mechanism. And he shared a nice bunch of links over here. You can check out the Autopia Studio specifically from the links down in this page as well. I will leave a link for it in the description as well. You can sign up for the Autopia Studio by using an email and password and getting more details on all of that for yourself. Like I said, so many use cases for AI workers. I'm going to put the link in the description of this video. Go ahead and check out Autopia. Again, lots of interesting things happening from a mining perspective. Price action has been consolidating sideways here for the past number of months. Nice to see it's actually putting in a series of higher lows here on the chart. That bodes well for a medium term price action and possibly moving into price discovery if we can get back up above this area around 0 0.0069 tau per subnet alpha token let's see what happens here this is very interesting stuff happening under the hood with autopia guys check out the links in the description and let me know what you think that is it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed the deep dive once again into autopia remember if you got any value at all out of today's video please use the thumbs up button below this video smash that thumbs up it's right under my finger let's take three seconds right now smash that thumbs up button make sure to subscribe hit that bell notification icon and don't forget to grab your completely free copy of the rise of bitcoin in the description and i'll catch you in the next one